Okay, what I'm going to show you today is how you can set up your Tyrannus 9 Plus to have audio control on your splash screen or startup screen, whatever you want to call it. There's uh, some people says no, it's not possible. Yeah, it is. That's why I'm showing you this video. It is possible. I'll show you how to do it. Uh, a little bit of background. I did some research, if you want to call that, looking back on the internet and literally spent hours reading a lot of text and watching videos on how to do this. And, uh, obviously, it's not being done, but there are some crazy things out there. I uh, Please don't take offense to this. If uh, this applies to you, I don't, don't mean any, uh, any offense, but I went on OpenTX, read a lot about uh, a forum about they were discussing you know do they want to do this uh, why would you need to do this why would you not that's my question why would anybody in open tx say no we're not going to put it there that's crazy okay i mean to me i'm totally shocked that open tx supposed to be very open-minded <laughs> people and they don't want to give you control over the splash screen audio total total craziness as far as I'm concerned but hey who am I no offense you guys know way more than what I do about this kind of stuff but anyway <clears throat> I'll show you a very very easy way that you can do this yes you can yes you can yes you can let's go do it okay and checking things out on the internet and seeing what other people were doing or trying to do, uh, I discovered that there's a couple of ways people are trying to get around this. And first, what they're uh, saying is go into your models page and do some changing in there and you can have control uh, over your volume. Well, no, that doesn't work. Uh, let me show you what does. Okay, what you want to do is go into your uh, start or your screen here. I don't care how you go about it. Get to your main menu where you can hit the button here and go to radio setup. All right, page over till you get. Whoops, wrong button. Page over till you get to global functions. All right, now this is on the radio setup, not model setup. Okay. So uh, I'm not going to take time on this video to show you how to do this. It's very, very simple. Uh, go in here, set this to on, set this to volume, set this to whatever switch you want. I have it set for this switch here. You can do it for this switch over here, or you can even do just an on and off switch. It's totally up to you. Uh, you get to choose. So, did see on the internet there's... Uh, some people that are going in here and doing these uh, here, but they're doing it from the models page. And you can do it from the models page, but the drawback to that being if you do it just on the models page, then every model that you have, you're going to have to go back in there and set this up for every model or it'll only work on the ones you have set up on. But doing it here off the radio page and doing it in global functions, you only have to do it one time and it stays. You're good to go. Okay, after you've set up your uh, global functions page, come back and you're ready to turn the uh, radio on and get the volume control here working. So let me tell you right off the bat what you want to do before you turn your radio on is turn your volume down because wherever this is that's where your volume is going to be okay when it comes on so we're going to turn this on and i'm going to show you that you got to do one more step to make this work all right so we got the volume all the way down we're going to turn the switch on then you've got to come over here you've got to push the plus or the minus two times kind of quickly and what that what it'll do then it'll put control up here to this switch and wherever this is set that's where your volume will be now one drawback to this is 
if you take your time pushing these buttons, you're going to get clear through your uh, splash screen audio, and this thing's not going to turn it down because you've been kind of slow getting on and getting this turned on. So what you need to do, hit the button, come over, push this two times or the bottom one two times, and it'll knock the audio down. Now, you're not going to be able to completely knock out every bit of audio because the time it takes to go from here down to here, hit the switch, you're going to have about a half a second of uh, loud audio and nothing you can do do about that but anyway you will get control up here so let's turn it on give it a try okay so now i can control if i want okay now also once you do that it still gives you control here for all your other switches. So here we go. Acro mode. Stabilization on. Okay. So that's how you do it. It's uh, simple. It's not the best setup, not perfect, but it's way better than nothing at all. Hope you enjoyed the video.